Low again. Yeah? I'm after directions to the First National Grocery Store. And I'm busy. So stop your pestering me with questions. Hello, Gilman. What are you wanting now? Strange thing about that Burnham lad. Burnham? Kent Riley says I know what you're talking about. That's odd. He was all over the Arkham Press. Must have been a bit of a local scandal. Them's matters for the police, stranger. Innsmouth's not a town for rumoring and talking. How's business? Can't you see I'm busy? Stop bothering me with your talking. Sorry. Aye, I'm plenty sure you are. He's not gonna be any help, and only a crazy fool would spend the night. This town's deserted. Where is everybody? Just leave me be, stranger. Evening, Constable. Certainly I'm busy. No time for fucking strangers. I'm Detective Jack Walters. I've been hired by the regional manager of the First National. And I'm Constable Burke, and I'm the law around these parts, and I'm still not talking to you. Now get lost. Move along outside our... I'd get more juice out of a stiff. It won't budge. Won't open. The doors bolted shut. Nothing of interest. The window's smashed. I can see what looks like an old dark room. It's unlocked. Assorted paperwork, but nothing of any real interest. It 
looks like I need some sort of lifting handle to get it open. The glass has been broken, and there's scratch marks on the wood. Strange. It won't budge. Looks like the door was forced open, and there's scratch marks on the wood. There's a bottle of bootleg rum and a wooden hand. A typewriter. Invoices and receipts. Nothing of interest. It probably leads down to a storage cell. Looks like a diary. It's gotta have some clues. The cellar's filled with human remains. There are some issues of the Innsmouth Courier lying here, and they're dated 1846. various chemicals and apparatus for old photos of Innsmouth. Most of them have faded beyond recognition.
nothing of interest. General notices, they're all dated 1846. From the stench in here, this noose broad must have kicked it a few months back. Nothing of interest. It won't budge. Hello, Jack. Do I know you? Lucas Mackey. Sorry to startle you. Insmith doesn't get a lot of visitors. New names spread fast. What are you doing in town, Jack? Hear about the missing Burnham boy? Not bad. I'm a private detective. My client's a friend of the Burnhams. Seen the latest press from Arkham? Your boy's been quite busy. Hmm. What about you, Mackie? You're obviously not a local. What's your business in town? <laughs> True enough, Jack. Nothing too exciting, I'm sorry to say. I'm a government factory inspector. They posted me in this rotten hole to check over the old Marsh refinery. Speaking of which, I've got an appointment with the manager, Jacob Marsh. Okay, maybe I'll catch you later. That's the first friendly face I've seen in this damn town. But I've been in this business long enough to know he's hiding something. everybody it's very quiet I can't be seen talking where is everybody here. it's very quiet I reckon you might have scared him off with that ugly face of yours <laughs> this statue commemorates the men who fought in the Revolutionary War I'm looking for Brian Burnham. Just leave me be, stranger. It won't budge. If you pardon my asking, have you lived here in this port all your life? Less thirty-seven years in old Lady Warren's house. Before that, over by a fishing canary. Can canary. Old Lady Warren's house? Go and fetch me a bottle of something to wet old Zidok's whistle, and I'll tell you all. What do you know about the variety store robbery, old-timer? That'd be Tom's old store. Stacked with all sorts of knickknacks and such. So you know Tom Waits? I know he took the third oath that I wouldn't. I... I'd rather die than take that. What oaths? I don't 
don't understand. <laughs> Just fetch him a bottle of fine liquor, young fella, and I'll tell you all. Where can I find this Thomas Waite? Dark Street. Back in old lady in Orrin's house. In my home. Mister. You just bring old Zadok a bottle of something nice and... And old Zadok will fill your ears. Why, you're uncommonly kind, young feller. Here be a little something in gratitude that may help you in your search. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> now you be calling me crazy. Like them that star rumor in an anchorum in Lipswich. But old Zadok's seen all manner of wicked things since before you was born. Mm. Ah. Old Captain Mobit where it all began. Telling desperate folks they'd order kids better gods. Them's that to answer their prayers. Didn't the Christian folk of Innsmouth object to such blasphemy? Aye, uh, they did. It were around 46 that many folks in town were done with Obed and his ways. And all that wild preaching and too many missing, you see. Uh, a party of good folk followed Captain Obed's crowd out to the reef. Shots were fired. Next day, Obed and thirty of his fathers were in jail. And for weeks all were quiet. Till that artful night of forty-six. Them out outside reckon out it being a riot. But I'd seen them. Swarms of them. Look, old man. I don't have time to listen to these fishing tales. <gasps> Was a massacre. The jail thrown open. Mounds of the dead and the dying. <gasps> Shooting and screaming and shouting all across the town square. Come morning, the mess was cleaned up. Old Obed and his family takes charge, they did. Folks were told to keep shy as strangers if we were known what was good for us. Sadok, who did all this? Who did all this? Said the old captain was now deeper in debt to his even gods. They were hankering for more than just sacrificing. Obed told folks they had to take the oaths of Dagon. What the hell are these oaths? You just asked old Wes about oaths of Dagon. Aye, he take the third oath. Just head over to his hole in the dark street. Then you'll see. For definite. He's given me a key to the town poorhouse. It could come in handy. Mr. Walters, I must speak with you. It's Jack. And just hold on there a minute, sweetheart. Are you gonna even tell me your name? My name's Rebecca Lawrence, and unless you want to join Innsmouth's long list of missing, I'd urge you to follow me. Missing, huh? Like Burnham? Of that, I'm not sure. You'd be better off asking the Billingham's daughter, Ruth. She was dating Brian. What? Who's Ruth? Quickly, we don't have much time. You've got to follow me. Jack, Innsmouth is a strange place. There are things that have no business being here. Foul, reeking things. Strange? Trust me, I'm good with strange. That remains to be seen, but I can help you. My father discovered this strange sign while studying an old manuscript. It seems to ward off the more unusual elements in Innsmouth. 
Whenever you find one, you can use it to find a moment of the sanctuary. Now, I must leave before we're seen together. I've seen that eye-like symbol somewhere before, but never surrounded by a star. Jack, we can't be seen talking together. What is it? Why do you stay in Innsmouth, Rebecca? My grandfather, John Lawrence, was editor of the Innsmouth Courier. He was murdered in the slaughter of 46. He had always despised the marshes and their blasphemous doings, and it was he who led the party out to the reef that night. They arrested Captain Marsh and his order, and tossed them in the old jailhouse. A few weeks later, my grandfather was dead. My father saw him die, him and many others, burned alive in the courier's basement. All the more grounds to leave. To leave would be to fail my own legacy. I have a duty to protect the good in Innsmouth, at least with no good remains. It won't open. She knows plenty, but I need to have a look around myself if I'm gonna crack this case. Hello, Mackie. Jack, swell to see you again. Any leads on the Burnham case? Nope. Did you know the lad at all? Just pleasantries. Seemed a nice enough fella, if a little rough around the edges. Strange business, though. I'd never have fingered him as a crook. The First National was a well-run store. A rare thing here in Innsmouth. Okay, Mackie. Thanks. Goodbye, Jack. Be careful what you're doing. Very careful. Innsmouth's a dangerous place. Not everyone who visits here ends up leaving by the old bus route. This Mackie character knows plenty, but I don't think grilling him for scraps of information is gonna crack this case. It won't budge. I'm looking for a young lad called Brian Burnham. He worked in the First National. I'm a friend of the family. I ain't heard of the Burnham lad. Right. It won't open. It's unlocked. I see you without fire. I'll report your order. I'll not say nothing. This town's deserted. Where is everybody? I can't be seen talking to you. It won't open. It won't budge. It 
it won't open. It won't budge. Do you need any help? Disease is rampant in this town. It won't open. It won't budge. It won't open. I'm looking for Brian Burnham. Ken Riley says I It's the know. entrance to the town poorhouse. It won't open. Since old Lady Warren's passed away, the food is rotten, but we'll die soon enough. What are you looking at there, old timer? Nothing. I'm just looking. What you doing in old Warren's house, young feller? This hole is for the broke and the dying. I'm trying to find Dock Street. It's out back of the house. Everything in Innsmouth is rotten and dying. Windows boarded up, and all sorts of curious barking and crawling around black cellars and attics. How'd you like to be living in a town like this, feller? I've been to more welcoming places. I don't think he's been outdoors for years. He isn't gonna know anything. Her sleep is restless and erratic. The old woman's dead. It won't open. It won't open. Where's everybody? It's very quiet. I reckon you might have scared them off with that ugly face of yours. <laughs> it won't open. Hello there, little lady. Hi, sir. Are your parents at home? Daddy's at work, and Mommy's upstairs, in the attic. She's been bad. I see. So, what's your name, little lady? Ramona. Well, Ramona, could you get your Mommy for me? Nope. Mommy bites. Daddy says we've got to keep her up there for her own good. Excuse me? When I go near the door, she growls. I don't love Mummy like I love my daddy. You don't say. Ramona, I really need to speak to your daddy. Do you know when he'll be home? Soon, I think. You can wait inside if you like. Daddy won't mind. I'm drawing pictures with my crayons. That would be great. Thanks. I should check the place over while I've got the chance. It won't budge. It won't budge. It's a recent family photo. The corner's been torn off. I can only see Thomas and Ramona Waits in the picture. It won't open. An old chest of drawers. Won't budge. The door's bolted shut.
<laughs> Looks like a diary. <sighs> last thing I loved away from me. I'm sorry. I didn't realize what was up there. What the hell was that thing? There's no time to explain. They'll be here soon. Listen to me closely. You've been the talk of the town all day, asking after the Burnham lad. I heard he never made it to Boston, that he was copped by the Order of Dagon. Did he pocket anything from the store's safe? Thankfully, no. It's sturdy. He'd never have wrenched it open with a crowbar. There's something in there that needs protecting from the Order. You've got to get it out of Innsmouth. Take the key to the back of my store. The safe combinations in my diary, upstairs. Hurry, Jack! What the hell's in the safe, anyway? You've gone too far this time, wait. We're taking you in for murder. You'll swing for this. Wait, he didn't do anything wrong. He killed his own daughter. His own flesh and blood. There's plenty wrong with that. I'm reckoning you do well to mind your own business, stranger. It ends must we handle things by the old ways. It's Ramona's coloring book. Jack, Jack. Oh, thank God I found you. Waite's been arrested for the murder of his daughter. I know. It's my fault, Rebecca. What are you talking about, Jack? What's your fault? There was something in the attic. Some kind of animal, and I let it loose. It's all my fault. The police drag Waite's off. He can't take the fall for this. He's done nothing wrong. We gotta do something. Guilty or not, the Order will see him lynched for it. There's nothing you can do. Oh, you must have taken quite a bang in there, Jack. Your head's bleeding. Yeah, I think I was out of it for a little while. I see you've got some bandages. Use them on your head. It'll help you heal. You're not losing too much blood. You won't need a suture. Thanks, Rebecca. Rebecca. 